<laughs> Once your fat ass sits down. Okay. Well, you're ready. Golden rub. Hi, welcome to today's episode of Miss Beer Havior. I am your host, Mr. Havior. I'm your host, Missy, and these are my lovely co-hosts, Ariana and Ron. I was getting ready to say oh, Missy friend. and Ron. This is our 28th episode, and I brought four delicious beers from Golden Road Brewing. To be fair, I don't know if they're delicious. I've never had these beers before. Where's Golden Road from? Uh, they are out of L.A., and I was really excited when i read about them they uh it was a female brewer that started them i think back in like she was in 2011 she had 15 it was like a 15 barrel brewery and within a year she got up to like a 50 um, barrel brewery and she partnered with anheuser-busch and that's their story pretty much and they're out in la and that's all that area out there but anyway, California. so I have the beers from Golden Road Brewing Street Cart Lime and Salt Cerveza. Ooh. What so, is so good about salt and beer? It I don't makes know. it really good for some reason. So Cerveza, so Mexican style lager. Uh huh. We have guava cart wheat ale with guava and passion fruit Ooh, okay. gross passion we get, fruit <laughs> we got some interesting flavors but still pulling some nice basics we have that's the one i dropped this fucking crumpled Probably up can mango cart mango wheat ale and of course the dosecchi's mysterious beerius and we'll find out what that one is later so I, i'm going to just interject and say Hey fans, I hope we look better for those of us that are on YouTube. I finally got my shiny new Amazon Prime Day camera. And I played with it last weekend at the air show. And I discovered that we can jack in the microphones that we use for audio recording straight into <laughs> the freaking camera. So whether you're listening on the podcast feed or watching YouTube, you get the same audio quality. They actually Yay. always did. I just took the video audio off and then used the audio and s- synced it up and did it like that well, so you always had the same audio quality so now it's just going to be all together and it's going to be less work for you then i hope so yes sounds like it'd be That's good pretty cool. this thing's supposed to be 4k righto righto Hells yeah so anyway we're going to crack into our first yes. fucking beer What's the first one the first one is the golden road yes. brewing street cart lime and salt cerveza so the can is like black and gray and there's somebody grilling corn on the front and it looks like a big old fucking party there's more corn grillers like and a big mexican street party kind of a thing yeah pretty much like That's oh cool. we, i like we the can have art. to do it like that now i think the can art is pretty nifty we only have one uh why do we have that camera oh because it was always there what we have that extra camera set up but it's non-functioning camera i mean i suppose i can just go bloop oh, oh it's not functioning anymore i thought that was our beer cam <laughs> we're well, gonna try the zoom in on it we're gonna oh, try the zoom in because i don't have the laptop hooked up oh, okay i could hook it up but Yikes. we'll see how this works for a uh, go dun, this way dun, 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 dun. so it's a nice crispy looking golden lager ale like a good mexican lager should be yep i think it looks pretty decent it's, it's got that yeah. light color that's uh it, it looks like healthy piss. urine yes healthy urine it's hot as balls and it look it's hot as balls today and that looks like a good hot uh, as balls it's gonna beer. look like it's gonna be fucking refreshing as hell dude i'm excited about this I feel actually i'm like gonna get trashed today i don't know what it is but we had that lime and salt one before that yeah. margarita smoked margarita yeah with the salt in it oh my god it was so good it's one oh, of my favorite no. beers. Well, Ron, Ron didn't really like it that much. Ron got a shit ton. Fuck you, Ron. Fuck that guy. Lemon. Who doesn't even <laughs> like the lemon? Or the, who doesn't like the lime beer? We, we, can, we can do it poor. Like, psh, I don't want to make that mess. No. Fuck it. Giving it it smells like beer. Mm-hmm. It, it smells limey. A lime, a I can smell the scent. lime. It's an ice cold, refreshing beer. Yeah. I like it. It's fruity. It's it does. It has a sweet taste, but it's not overpowering. It's fruity. Um, you got that uh, yeah, salty, limey thing. It. Is it, it's a wheat ale, right? Yes. I can taste it. I can. This. Yeah. I think I really like that. That's a good, crushing, chugging beer. I could drink a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's a perfect hot, sweaty day beer, like today. Yep. It's a four point eight percent alcohol volume. 
I kind of dig it. I like it. I like it. It's a good, it light, is. refreshing taste. Yeah, it's just like a regular beer, like you're sitting at a fucking um, barbecue or something. That's right. So were the, was this a four-pack somewhere you picked up local or what? Um, I got it from a friend. Um, she didn't want the rest of them, so she gave them to me. And she said, oh, here, take these. And I said, cool. I said, I'll drink them together because they're all the same brand. I just said, fuck it. We'll do all of them on a show. That works. So I'm definitely picking up the saltiness. A little bit. The, the salty mm-hmm. there. It's not like, you know, pretzel salty, but it's just salty enough that it makes you want to drink more. Yeah, absolutely. That hints the crushable, chuckable thing. I was hoping for a little more salt, but I can taste, I mean, I can taste the salt. I was hoping for a little saltier. I taste a lot of salt. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of laughing at your, I'm hoping for the saltiest. (laughs) She needs something salty, boys. Yep. (laughs) Salty. It's it's a little limey, but the limey taste kind of just goes away. The limey just adds a little fruit hint to it, I think. Yes. I can barely taste the lime in it. It just has this a sweetness, like a which slight. limes aren't really sweet, so I, it's... It, it, it's just adding the, fr- the fruity note. It is. Just oh, no. Fruity. I kind of get a little bit of sour. I like, do, too. Like a slight amount of sour. Oh, so I don't know if y'all saw. I just chugged that uh, pre-beer there, which was one of those uh, peach bush lights, so everything's tasting a little bit off, a little bit sweet to me right now, but this is still quite delicious. Are you the jerk that put your um, bush light on my fucking table without a coaster? Today? Yes. No. On that table without a coaster. It wasn't me. I Probably. That was me. Or did I do it? No, because I think so I put my, fellas, no, my, can, fellas, my cans in j- there. Just for the record, if you ever try to do Ariana, if you put a bu- any kind of can on a surface without a coaster, <laughs> you're going to die. That's right. Certain the, surfaces. That thing the, the, the coaster needs coasters. Come I on, guys. Like from the 50s or 60s, so you know, I'm trying to keep it nice. <laughs> I'm going to die after this episode. It was nice knowing you guys. Brew. So anyway. The How did Ron die episode? That'd be hilarious. That's that's when we're gonna have the Ron sitting there. We're gonna have his body uh, taxidermied. Oh yeah. I think we should just taxidermy him ourselves. <laughs> Remember the writing yeah. course. <laughs> we're gonna have to taxidermy oh, him yeah. ourselves, like because why would we want it to look good? We would want it to look. Oh like... yeah, like one of those fucking janked up <laughs> taxidermies. The, the bad taxidermy group on Facebook. That'd be oh, fucking God, hilarious. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna be my practice <laughs> subject. <laughs> Please, re- start. please replace my eyeballs with something awful, like, like googly eyes. I feel like that'd be fucking hilarious. I feel like one would be like an eight ball. Okay, you remember those balls that like were like grab like they had water inside yeah, of them, yeah. and then it had like the ball and you rolled around. I'm gonna put one of them, one of those. A magic eight ball? Those are really cool. I feel like no. I mean, or is it like the squeezy balls? No, I like the. Sque- it was like a hard outer shell, and then they're from like, Taco Bell. I don't know. I had they one were. that had an eight ball in it. Okay. But, like, it had, like, water in it. You'd roll it around, and, like, it would just kind of, like, sit in the same spot. Like, the inside ball would sit in the same spot. So, so there okay. were eyeball ones like that from Taco yeah. Bell. Yeah, I remember that now. And I think that would be really funny. But I think the squishy eyeball ones, like the ones that have the stuff in them, and you, like, like squeeze them would be really funny. Because then you can just reach and, like, poke into his eye and squeeze it, and shit will, like, come out. I'm like, just thinking <laughs> about, like, the squeezy ones, but they have, like, the little net thing around it. When you squeeze it, it all poops up. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that, too. That would be really awesome. That would be awesome. I we like could take it. his skull out and make him have a soft head so we could squish his head and his <laughs> eyeballs and be like, <laughs> I like that idea. How my corpse got defiled by Ron Lynch. Is this legal? If this is legal, I kind of want to do this now. I, this is like, legal. We're going to kill you. Like, we're not going to kill you, but we're, we're definitely going to look forward I'm to your death. Of natural causes. We, we, should, we should take him someplace on a really weird vacation when he's about to Let's die. go whitewater rafting, Ron. We'll just go on all these like adventurous, like, hey, you want to go skydiving? <laughs> oh, you forgot your shoot, Ron. Sorry. Hey, let's go zip lining. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're gonna have to take him on like some like wild ass like foreign vacations so when that shit like that does happen it will totally be oh, legal dude. and we could sell his organs on the black market dude, we also totally, we could so we're you making are, money so i'm just gonna stay you guys it'll pay are, for all the fucking adventures we take him on for him to die and be like man i ran not, up my credit card bill you guys are not the first people today to suggest taking me on a vacation and killing me internationally that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Who else did this? This is a Francis thing for sure. A little bit, a little bit. Yes. But yes, you were not Francis. actually the first people to suggest that. That's specifically fucking... today, specifically within the last two hours. That's fucking awesome. I'm going to be taking my vacations alone from now on. That's great. So, like, 
we could all go on vacation with Francis too. Yeah, hell, she would want to help. Yeah. That's, 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 <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's like, what? If I'm going to die, it better be fucking epic. Yes, we're done. We're just sitting here waiting for our, our, our rinse bitch. Snap, snap, rinse our glasses. Apparently. I'm on it, friends. So, speaking of epic and vacations, did you do anything fun? Yes, so that's what I was going to speak about because we missed an, an episode because I went to Vegas and I had to get caught up for everything. So, I went to Vegas and it was fun. Didn't do a whole lot. Watched some friends get married. I don't gamble. I didn't drink while I was there. I did not drink a single ass craft beer. I, we were going to stop at a... You went to a wedding and didn't drink a single anything? I drank some, uh, like a couple of Long Island iced teas and a couple of margaritas the day they got married, and I had a Long Island iced tea the day before. I really didn't drink. It was too hot to fucking drink, is what it was. And uh, so the the main thing, the, I don't know, like the main stories that were actually like really funny was when I we got a poop selfie. Yeah, I did send them a poop selfie. That, that was like made a, my day happy. It was a really low toilet, and I was like, dude, this toilet is super low. And I was like, oh, I can poop like I'm sitting at a squatty potty. And I was really excited because I was like, dude, 10 out of 10 would poop here again. Like, this is a great pooping toilet. Because it just, you know, at first it kind of startled me a couple times because I went to sit down, and I'm like, I'm just continuously sitting, and, I'm, and it felt like I was falling. I was like, <laughs> whoa, like, this is a low-ass toilet. And I kind of, you know. So is this like a special Vegas tro- toilet for crawling up and puking into and it's a little bit more comfortable to lay your head in if you're like tanked that's what i was kind of wondering i'm like why did they have low toilets because like our friends that got married were saying that the toilet was low low in their room too and it's like puking i was kind of wondering if maybe you know they had toilets specially made but they wanted to save money so they had like a few inches chopped off probably like for squatty potty purposes, I don't know. Right, it's know. a hotel for midgets. That's where they're they want. They don't want people Little dying people. pushing it out on the toilet. I don't fucking know. What is it about getting friends poop selfies that makes me happy? I don't know. She says that so until fu- I start sending poop selfies. That it's oh god, Juan, what the fuck's wrong with you? He's probably going to be sending pictures of like his like poop coming out of his ass. Like, <laughs> that'd be an icky poop selfie like nobody wants that poop selfie you know I, I, for I, one of the things until he started like chilling out on it every day i was getting a shitting in the bathroom selfie from zach that's awesome it was like snapchat every day about the same time it's snapchat. like snapchat yeah it was just like his snapchat <laughs> and he, he was like very clearly being very regular at work nice and then he stopped doing that i don't know if he, if he got in trouble for doing that or what but zach come on he misses More the poop, poop selfies. Self, poop selfies, Zach. Come on. Too much pooping on company time. That's right. So uh, what what do we rate this beer? And how do we describe it other than... Crisp. Clean. Crisp. Clean. Refreshing as fuck. A little yeah. salty and Violet's fruity. sitting on it likes it. I think yeah. it's huge. I don't see the... Fruity, point. salty, refreshing. Crisp. Clean. What else do we say? Fruity. Refreshing. Salty. Refreshing. What else did you say, Missy? Um, I liked it. It was, it was bubbly. I liked it. Bubbly. Uh, as far as the number, um, eh, I'll do it like a 3.75. That's what I was thinking, a 3.75. I was thinking 3.5. Because I thought 3.5, and I'm like, nah, I'll give it a little bit more than that. It ain't hateful. It, it doesn't do anything extraordinary <clears throat> for a Mexican lager. No, nope, but I, th- I thought it was it was just an easy drinker. Like, it's like, 100% what you'd expect oh, for a Mexican lager. Crushable earlier. Yeah, yeah, I did crushable. say it was crushable. I feel like that's like a good beer for someone who's starting on beers. Like it's because it's not yeah. it's not extremely beer potent. It doesn't have that bitter beer taste. It was I thought it well well rounded. Give me some street tacos and a couple of those, and I'll be a happy fat bitch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>